good day friends it is me hl mod tech and if you're looking in the background that is one of jack's minecraft projects friends today we're going to make the minecraft wither using tinkercad so let's get cracking all right friends so first things first jack thank you so much for making this it is incredible friends if you've never seen one of my five by five projects it started with a minecraft creeper and it just keeps getting more fun because of users like eighth grader jack so friends we bring out a cube we hold down shift stretch it to crazyville type five and press enter this is the cube we build all this from now to make it work, we turn on the special five millimeter nudge. So now every time we click the arrow, it moves exactly one brick over. Now this also is a project that Jack asked to 3D print. I'm gonna use F for fit view and let me show you the trick we did to make it so it looks a little cooler. If you press two and you set the steps to one, so you've got your radius and your steps, it is a chiseled brick. And then when you 3D print this project, it has some neat textures. Now I also like the black to be more black than the one that is built in. So we're gonna switch down here to custom and slide it back into that spot. So now one last little adjustment. I wanna get this right on a corner just so it's nice when we're building it. And I'm actually gonna move it to this side. Now friends, here we go. When you do control D and hit the arrow once, it automatically nudges to the next spot and it remembers it. So if we do control D again, boom, we've got three bricks. If you look right here, the bottom piece is a three brick piece. It goes three back. So friends, watch this, control D. One, and then control D again, it memorized it and boom, we've just made that row. Now we need one, two, three, four, five of these rows. Grab the entire chunk, control D, control up. It memorizes that nudge, so we can just do control D again. There's number three, number four, number five, and let's count again, one, two, three, four, five, six. We need six. Boom, we have just built this tiny section. Alrighty, everybody, let's take the top row of this and do control D. Notice we have got nine shapes. I'm gonna nudge it over a couple, and then I wanna raise that up one block. So it'll be one block above this when it tilts. So let's count how many of these there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So once again, let's grab it. Control D, control up. So there's our second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, 10th, 11th, 12th, and the 13th goes off the screen. So we that easily just created the entire center of our wither. From this center, we're gonna go out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's grab a three by three chunk. Notice it says nine, so I know I grabbed well. Control D, and there's my one click. And remember, we need eight of these. So if I do Control D, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on that side. I'm gonna line up over here, grab these nine, which is really three. Control D, one click out, and then we're also gonna do eight of these. So there's Control D for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our wither now has the central body and the little arm area or whatever that is really called. And now we need to add the small heads. These heads are six by six and they start four in. So let's just go up here and we're gonna go one, two, three, four while holding shift click. And I'm gonna grab this top chunk as well. One, two, three, four four and if I do control D and pull that towards me that gives me one chunk out just like this guy is right here now remember it was six by six so let's grab this and this and I'm gonna also hold shift and select these I missed that one let's try again and control D one over so there's five and control D, there's six. All right, friends, we need to add the back pieces. Let's just do shift select. Grab those two and move them back and do control D to make that full set of four. 
and then grab those four, making sure it says four, control D, and one, two, three, four, five, which is a total of six. So we've got the six by six for the first head. I like making these hollow, so I'm gonna really quickly hide my template. Control H is the shortcut for that. So we can take and delete these inside pieces to make this hollow. Need to keep that one, don't that, don't that. By making these hollow, you have less shapes total. So as you end up building, it should be less complex. I'm gonna look at it straight from ahead, make sure I've got those 20 shapes selected, which makes sense. Control D and Control up. So there's three, four, five, and then this would be six. And then we simply need to do the shift select one, two, three, four, control D, and we need to nudge that back. Control D, control D, control D to finish that head. Remember how this head hangs two over? If we're really careful, we can just grab all of that. Notice you can see I grabbed perfect. Now I can do control D and we can just nudge it across, making sure that when we get here, we go two past. Then all we need to do is fill in the pieces down below. If we use shift select, we can grab those real quickly, do control D, control down, and then control D, and we have just completed the front of that face. Let's real quickly shift select these, do control D, and do back. And do control D to go two past. Notice that lines up just perfect. We can leave this one hollow. So I'm just gonna do control D and do the back, making sure I get it correct, and then D, D, D to bring it back. I'm going to select somewhere else and do control D to bring that across and I'm just going to go across it's easy and then I can click on this one do control D and across and easy peasy we have just created both of the outside heads if we back out quick and do show all you can see that the next head is 8 by 8 we're going to align this by selecting this entire chunk and grouping it. This will be our center when we're done with this head that we're building. I'm going to build the last head down here on the ground and then I'll move it up. Let's do control D on one brick down here. And then we want to do control D and move over one. And remember we need eight, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we can easily select all those and do control D, move them back. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we want to build this up. Once again, I'm going to do it so that it's, once again, I'm going to make it so it's hollow. So I'm just grabbing this side, control D, control up, and let's go up eight times. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to move over to this side. Notice this trick, if you use fit view, which is F, you can get close so you can easily grab that chunk. Control D, control up. That's two. Control D, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's look at it from the top here. Check out how easy it is to just grab those six. Control D, control up. Control D, 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 D. And once again, back here, once again, if you just nick those edges, boom, you've got your six, control D, control up, D, 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 and you've got them all. Now we wanna make this row here. Notice it's hard to grab those six. You may wanna shift select them. And we wanna do control D and come forward, control D, 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 and bang, you've just made your withers head. Once again, I'm going to group that. You can use the group button or you can use control G. Notice it takes a second because it's 296 shapes. Make sure you do have it grouped. All right, friends, so here's where it's cool. When you've got it grouped, set your work plane up top, click on your head, do D to drop, and then hold shift and click on that center area, do a line, 
make the center area the master, and boom, you have just aligned your wither's head. How sweet is that? Real quickly, I'm going to put the work plane back down on the ground, and let's build these little arm things down here as well. Once again, Control D, use the arrow keys to move that over into our build area. Notice these are 4x4, four four, and they're 4 on a side. F is Fit View. Control D and move that dude back. Grab those two and do Control D and move it. Control up. Remember it's four crossed. So we're going to do Control D. And let's come out. One, two, three, four. Now friends, because these are painted different, I'm going to paint this guy right now. Uh, notice Jack did three grays. I'm going to pick this one right here, or I'm going to even go darker, and then I'm going to do one light gray here. Let's do this one, and then the last ones were the next lighter gray. Jack may have used custom colors. And if you take a quick peek, it goes all the way across. So I'm going to quickly delete this and do Control D so that's a full set. Now let's take that set and we need to raise it up. I'm going to switch my nudge to 2 and do Control, control D and then Control up. Until there's a little gap between them notice it's custom and then do control D to make that entire side I'm gonna select that set and do control D and I'm gonna move it to the other side flip them so that way the dark is on the inside just like that I'm gonna do control G to make those a group and I'm gonna turn on multicolor I'm going to do control G to make these a group. And I'm going to turn on multicolor. Let's real quickly attach them. I'm going to put the work plane on this side and drop this one in place. I'm going to put the work plane on this side and drop these in place. Alrighty friends, let's click on this. Let's shift click this. Let's click that center body. And let's choose a line. And we want the center body to be the middle. And then I'm going to use control up to raise them up to where I want. I'm going to do one down and I think that is pretty darn nifty. Let's take this bottom piece making sure I've got all 54 and I'm going to rotate it 22 and a half and then I'm just going to move it over until it lines up with our shape do control up until I get those pieces exactly where I want notice I did switch to that two millimeter nudge you can also switch to a one millimeter nudge as you're getting into place that is pretty dang spiffy so friends, now it's time to go to painting this middle strip and the faces. Alrighty friends, so here we go. There are five gray. I'm going to hold down shift and select those. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to do two in the middle-ish of that and two. And then one over and then still using shift select to grab all these to make it as fast as possible. And then these are all whichever gray you pick. I am going to use this gray right here. And then the white eyes go right here. So shift select, shift select, shift select, shift select. And then shift select, shift select, shift select again. And those become white. Friends, that's how quickly you can get your first wither face painted notice there is a darker gray here and there are probably lots of other awesome details you can do if you're better at working with minecraft creatures than i am 
Friends, the second face is the exact same as the first, so you can just copy what I did for the first one. Friends, it's time to do the large head, but remember we have to ungroup it. Once we've got it ungrouped, we need to look at it from an angle. We're coming two down, three in. And we're doing shift select and grabbing all those. Shift select one over and two past. So just selecting them one at a time as you grab them. Notice sometimes it takes more than one click. If you become impatient, you can just do these smaller groups at a time. I'm going to keep going with mine. Uh, I've got to go two over on this one, one up. And then I'm going all the way across. So click, 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 click. If you got one that fights with you, just get it when you're done. It goes one up. And then I turn those all to gray. Once again, I'm going to do that gray. This one was the stubborn one. So I'm going to click it separate. There we go. And then these two, I'm going to make white. And these two are white. And then the four down below are also white. And then these three are a darker gray. And these three are a darker gray. Friends, there's our awesome wither head. Now you just need to do your belly. Uh, once again, we will need to ungroup that because remember we grouped it. And then it's just a series of grays down here. Once again, we start with a darker gray. Bing. Then there are two of the lighter grays. Bing. And then three of the next lighter grays. Bing. And then it repeats back the other way darker and finally darkest and it looks like there's a few down here as well might as well get it just right since Jack did all this effort to make it look awesome least I could do is make it close to as awesome as his was looks like that's the dark gray and then the next one's the light gray And the lightest friends there you have it awesome withers all because of the awesome work of eighth grader Jack cannot tell you how much I appreciate him making these and I hope you guys are having a ton of fun creating them as well Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.